Dear students, under the topic Nonlinear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problem under standard type 3. Here we have problem 10, that is xp minus y squared q squared is equal to 1. We shall now solve this problem. We observe that only x, p, y and q are present in this equation. Therefore, the, the given equation is of the form f1 of x, p is equal to f2 of y, q. So, therefore, we have to gather all the xp terms to the left and yq terms to the right. So, we can rewrite this given equation as, I am going to take this left 1 to the left. So, it can be rewritten as xp minus 1 is equal to, taking this y squared q squared to the right, I will be having y squared q squared. And this can, this can these two has to be equated to a constant a. But, in one of the previous problem also I have told, whenever you have square terms for one complete uh, term, that is whenever you have square, then you take the constant also as a squared. I am doing this only for, for my convenient. If you want, you can in fact have it as a itself. I just want to get rid of the square root of a. For that reason, I have taken it as a square. But there is no mistake in having it as a also. You can even try the problem by having it as a itself. So, I am taking it as a squared. Now, from that we get xp minus 1 to be equal to a squared. So, xp minus 1 is equal to a squared. So, xp will be equal to taking this negative 1 to the right. I will be having a squared plus 1. So, therefore the value of p will be equal to a squared plus 1 divided by x. So, this is the value of p. Now, in order to get the value of q, we should equate the second one that is y squared q squared to be equal to a squared. So, from this q squared will be equal to a squared divided by y squared and therefore the value of q will be equal to plus or minus square root of a squared divided by y squared and the value of q will be equal to plus or minus Square root of a squared by y squared will be a by y itself. And so this is the value of q. Now we have the value of p and we also have the value of q. Now these two has to be substituted in the equation dz which is equal to pdx plus q dy. So what will be this? So dz will be equal to what is p? p can be written as 1 plus a squared. Okay, so 1 plus a squared divided by x. So dx by x plus or minus q is a by y. So a into dy divided by y. Now we shall integrate on both the sides. So integrating on both the sides, integral dz is z which is equal to 1 plus a squared is a constant and integral dx by x will be log x plus or minus here we have a as a, a as a constant and integral dy by y will be log y plus b. If you have used, uh, instead of a square, if you have used it as a itself, then your answer would have been z equal to, instead of a square, here you will have a log x plus or minus instead of a here you will have square root of a log y plus b so this would have been your answer if you have used a instead of a square you can very well try that and find whether your answer is correct so hope you have understood this problem so both the answers are correct in this case so um, kindly follow the next video lecture for problem 12 i mean problem 11 and 12 thank you